Hello everyone, my name is Mikey, otherwise known as Mikey Tees on Instagram. I am the owner here at Alchemy Collective Hair Lab and also the owner of Alchemy Men's Grooming. And in celebration of the 30th anniversary of Jatai Feather Razor, I will be showcasing my pixie cut inspired by the iconic movie Catwoman. Early 2000s is the inspiration that we're going with today. I hope you all enjoy the video. It's going to be a great one. So on this part of the haircut, what I want to try to focus on is I want to try to maintain some length here on the very ends so I can be able to give her some shape and some framing. Everything throughout here, I'm going to want to take a little shorter and blend into the length here. After I achieve this length on this side, I'll go ahead and go around the ear to do some ear carving. So I'm going to grab a vertical section and work into the length. I want to take about that much, I want to keep about that much length. So I'm going to start on top behind my fingers. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it into that length. Now that is my guide moving backwards in vertical sections. Now this guide is a traveling guide, so I'm basically going to connect it to the next guide I pull out in my vertical section and feather down into that length. And I'm going to be moving backwards and stay consistent with my partings in this traveling guide. My partings are about half an inch wide. I see my guide, I slide cut into that length. After I achieve the length on this side, what I'm going to do is then carve out the ear. I want to be able to establish the length that I want first and then go into detailing a little bit later in the haircut. As you can see, I'm getting this shattered effect here, which is exactly what I'm going for. The contrast in her color is definitely helping with this haircut to pop that out. But you can also notice that the length here is still longer than everything else. So in this technique, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the feather blade that cannot cut you. And I'm going to push it against the hair and my fingers, just like this. And it's going to also leave the same shattered effect. I have my guide here. It's really strong tension. I'm going to just go ahead and work that down into my vertical parting. Again, this is just another technique. Get my feather blade, pushing it against my fingers, keeping my guide straight. And that is what we're going to get. That is just one technique you can use amongst many that I will show you in this haircut to achieve this look. So I'll be able to finish this section by pulling it straight out because we want to maintain some length on the very end. So since the head curves down, if we pull that out at a vertical section to maintain that length, we're going to have a little bit more length here on the ends too. So with this look, we're going to have more length on the ends here around the nape and also right here to frame the face. For those of you watching, if you like this video, please remember to like and share. Also subscribe and you can hit that bell button to be notified of upcoming videos in the future. To achieve these types of haircuts, I highly recommend to use a brand new blade so you can get a nice buttery cut without having to stress on getting a haircut. It's also, it's also recommended to have the haircut saturated with either a cutting spray or just your water bottle is fine. you will notice a lot more of a cleaner cut when the hair is saturated.
also with a new blade on your feather razor. So the feather razor is one of my favorite tools because I feel it's the easiest tool in my set of tools to use and be the most creative with. I can hold this tool many types of ways. I can use it cutting many types of ways. And it works for me for these creative edgy haircuts, especially if I want to be able to give the hair that shattered effect. I can go in and point cut all day, but you guys can notice the speed and the consistency I'm keeping with just utilizing my feather razor to achieve that shattered look. So I'm coming to the, the last section in the front on my haircut. As you can notice, I'm still using the technique of grabbing that feather razor and pushing into the hair against my fingers and my vertical sections. And to keep that length at the very end, I'm just gonna slide cut into that length. So switching back over to the different technique of slide cutting to maintain that length on the ends. So one technique here, grab that length, different technique here. So now I'm going to take a section from the top on my length and now focus on blending this length into the already established guide on the side. Vertical sections. I see my previous guide. Now I'm just going to be able to blend and move along again with my new guide. Again, I'm keeping about a half inch section to my traveling guide, blending it into that length. So again, with my vertical sections moving along to the back, I see my length here that needs to be cut. Just etching that hair into my fingers with my feather razor to get a nice blend to keep it textured and feathered and shattered on the ends. For those of you watching that aren't giving us a follow, please do at Jatai Feather and also my personal account, Mikey underscore Tees for awesome hair content and education. Now I'm coming to the other side of the haircut where I will move some of the length on top over to the other side now. Bring some of that length down to also blend this side of the cut into the front. Still using my traveling guide. I can see my previous guide here. And a little tip here is an easy way to grab all that hair a little easier into your new section is I use the fine side tooth of my comb to move that hair out of the way and to grab that new hair into my new section. See my previous? And go ahead and give it a little bit of a feather. We're coming to the last section of the haircut now. I'm grabbing all the hair in the front. Let's see my previous guide. I've been staying consistent on the entire haircut all the way around. Again, moving from one side of the haircut over here, all the way to this side, keeping my sections clean. You can see the shape come alive. It's a lot of texture in there. And again, keep in mind that we are going to detail this at the very end, get it styled really nice to show you guys what the outcome is with some styling product in there. And now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get the top cut and shaped and move along, blending this from the sides and the back into the top. So now I have a section from the crown all the way to the front of her hairline, about an inch wide. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna blend this guide 
into the length over here of her fringe. Giving her a round layer in the back, using the grip and pull method on the feather razor. So you can see here, I have my previous guide right there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend that going into the top, just like that. So now you can see it's gonna be a nice round layer blend into the top of the haircut. Maintaining a little bit more length on the top. Now what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing the feather razor and I'm pushing the hair into my thumb and I pull away. Now you can see this length here from the fringe. I'm gonna blend that into the fringe here. So you get to see the shape that I'm creating into a fringe. It's a little bit longer than the sides, which is what we want. Now, to be able to get a nice blend with everything else, a traveling guide. I'm gonna blend this current section on top I just created into the next one right on the side of me. So right on the side of this new section here. So I can see my previous guide is right there. I grab a section right next to my current section here and do a little blend here with the same technique. And I'm moving along the front. So again, I see my guide. There it is, blending into her fringe. And there's my shape. I'm gonna keep it going. As you notice, I'm pulling the hair straight up to be able to maintain as much length as I can. Anything that falls over the side, I will be able to blend it later when I detail the entire cut. So this side is finished. Now I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. So the top is finished now. You can kind of see the shape become alive here now with my round layers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be able to just tidy up the fringe and blend it a little bit more with the other side. Her previous haircut was an asymmetrical fringe. So we're just gonna give it a nice even blend now. Still keeping a razored look for the fringe area. Want it to be very PC. So my tension right now isn't too tight. Sometimes when you get a fringe and you pull the tension too tight, you'll notice that when you dry the hair, it's gonna spring back up. So just keep in mind that when cutting the fringe, very, very loose tension. And you can detail fringe once the hair is completely dry to see its natural state. Sometimes clients will have a cowlick in the front. We wanna be able to avoid any kind of hard tension. So when we dry it, we don't want it to pop back up super short. So now for the, for the uh, face framing, we've got some length we're gonna keep here. And then we're gonna go ahead and clean up around the ear. So now we're in the detail segment of this haircut. So for this, I'm just gonna go ahead and eye it on what needs to come off and just go ahead and give it a little bit of a feather razor. Um, I'm sorry, give it a little bit of a feather cut down. Just feathering it from around her ear into her length. So I'm combing the hair on top of her ear and whatever hangs over the ear, that's what I'm grabbing. I'm just cutting that off, feathering it into the length here and also here in the, in the fringe, or sorry, in the face framing. So I'm gonna grab some of the hair on top of her ear, blend that into the length back here and also blend that into the length here for face framing. So I see a little hair behind her ear that I'm gonna also feather into the length right here. I want a really shattered look behind the ear. So now I'm just blending into that length. And from here, I will go ahead and to detail the back. So now we're gonna be able to shape the nape. You can kind of see it's all over the place here from a previous haircut. So the shortest piece of her hair was probably right here. So I'm gonna try to blend it 
to around this length. So I'm going to have her just slightly tilt her head down, and I can see what needs to come off. So I'm just going to grab it, I'm going to pinch it, and I can see my, my length is right there where I want to cut. So I'm going to feather into that length that I wanted to establish, just like that. Grab it again. That's about the length that I want. See this, I'm going to grab that. So what I'm doing is I'm just pinching the hair and cutting. Pinching the hair and cutting. And also, if there's any kind of loose strands, what you also can do is just gently glide it across her neck, which is also another reason I love this feather razor. Because you can do exactly this, where you can cut some hair on the nape, give it a nice textured look, and avoid cutting their skin. So as I'm finishing the detailing around the framing, carving out the ear and also the nape, getting that evened up, I'm finishing up the haircut now, just kind of eyeing it to see if there's any other details that I need to work on, any other hairs, loose hairs that I need to cut off. But right now it's looking pretty good all the way around. So this is the final result of my pixie cut we did today with my feather razor. As you can see in the very beginning, I did mention that I wanted to keep some face framing here. You can see that it adds to her face frame nicely on that side and also on the other. Went along with the razored fringe, took out tons of weight with interior texturizing in there, and then also on the nape. So I had to be able to even this out for her and did a lot of texturizing back here as well. And I incorporated a fiber paste, a texture paste to give her this style. A little style tip for this kind of cut is I would just pinch the hair with the fiber paste or a texture paste, whatever you choose. And it gives it more of a texture effect, as you can see, kind of clumps together, making it look more texturized. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And please remember to check out Jatai Academy. We have tons of content in there with educational videos. We hope to see you guys soon.